What is going on? Ramps are here and today I have a new Dragon Ball Xenoverse update for you guys in regards to how transformations are going to work in the upcoming Dragon Ball Z game. Now before we start, there's two kinds of transformations in the game. One is the super transformation and it consists of stuff like Kaioken and it takes up one to four super attack slots that you have available for your character. When you go into the Kaioken state, it starts to drain from your guard gauge, which is the third gauge as you see on the screen. When guard gauge hits zero, you revert back to your base form. However, if you're in the Kaioken state, you're stronger, faster, and you have the oomph needed to wreck your opponent. But now, I do want to know two things. One, you actually cannot charge your guard gauge while you're in the Kaioken form. So essentially, when you use it, you better use it to your advantage fast, otherwise you're going to be back in your base form in no time. The other thing I'll note is, is the guard gauge is highly important because this is what you use to block and snap vanish. Essentially, if you have uh, no guard gauge or low guard gauge, uh, if you try to block, it's going to take a lot of damage still. And if you have no guard gauge, you can't snap and dodge out of attacks. So you kind of have to balance out if you want to be defensive and save the guard gauge for blocking and snapping out of attacks, or if you want to go into a defensive form and do stuff like cow cancel, so you can break your opponent. That's a really, really cool thing, and I like how they added that bit of strategy that will be decided by the player how they want to play. So that's how super, trans super transformations work. The next kind of transformation available in the game is an ultimate transformation, and as you can guess, it takes one of your two ultimate, trans or ultimate slots available for your character. When your ultimate, or by the way, ultimate transformations consist of stuff like Super Saiyan, second, third, final form, you know, like the cool stuff. When you go into Ultimate Transformation, originally, like I reported a few weeks ago, originally, the idea was is when you go into Ultimate Transformation, so you go Super Saiyan, for example, uh, your key gauge starts to slowly decrease. You cannot charge this while it was decreasing, but while you're in your Super Saiyan form, you're stronger, faster, and you can spam Ultimates and, and Super Attacks with little to no key usage. So as you can guess, that sounds pretty freaking OP. I mean, imagine if they implemented that, so the final version of the game would have consisted of us just getting... You know, you go online and someone goes Super Saiyan and just starts blasting Super Kamehameha's left and right. That would have been pretty annoying. So I'm glad that they got rid of that system. Uh, the new system, the way it works is uh, when you go in your Super Saiyan form, your key gauge starts to drain just like before. But you have the option to charge it if you have charge equipped as one of your super attacks. Uh, theoretically, you can keep charging and stay Super Saiyan the entire match if you want to. While you're in your Super Saiyan form, you're stronger, faster, and I, uh, the super attacks and ultimate attacks still do drain away from your key. And of course, if your key hits zero, you're right back in your base form. But the idea is, is when you transform, you do become faster, stronger, and you have that to your advantage for your character. Now, of course, the loss here is, is since it does take away one of your ultimate slots, you basically have to choose only one other ultimate attack. So if you, you can either have two ultimate attacks, like a special beam cannon and a spirit bomb, or like a super kamehameha and a spirit bomb, or if you want to transform, you have to do like super saiyan and then like spirit bomb, or super saiyan and like kamehameha, stuff like that. Which again, I'm cool with because again, it gives the player the control on how they want to play, and it's cool. Now something else I do want to notice is I got this information from uh, New York Comic Con, I'm not there, but there's a bunch of videos which I will link in the description below. There's a bunch of videos that came out from people playing uh, the newest build of Dragon Ball Xenoverse at Comic Con, and I'm so glad because the new build that they have available has fixed so many bugs and glitchy issues that I've seen in an open network beta test from the past couple weeks ago. So I'm glad to see that there's a lot of progress. So if you're in New York and you're at Comic Con, make sure you stop by the Bandai Namco booth and check out the newest build of Dragon Ball Xenoverse, which actually features transformation so you can see it for yourself. So yeah, that, there it is, guys. That's how transformations are going to work. Now again, you know, this is still not final. There could be minor changes before the final game comes out, but this is kind of the, like the most recent uh, update or the direction that they're going with with transformations in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. So what do you guys think? Do you like that? Do you, do you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and we'll take it from there. Uh, my name is Ramstar. You guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see all you awesome Super Saiyans in the comment section below. Peace.